Hi guys, uh, Franz here from Stakes of Namibia. Uh, we are out here at our designated release site. We're actually busy um, tracking some of our zebra snakes. While walking in the field, uh, we actually came across uh, something very interesting. And I want you guys to pay close attention and see whether you can spot what we got here. Um, in case you can't, right here is quite possibly one of the coolest little snakes we have here in, in Namibia. And this is the horned adder. Now, the horned adder is one of six adder species that we find here in Namibia. And it is considered to be a dwarf adder, meaning it doesn't grow very big. And we have about five dwarf adder species in Namibia. Of course, the largest adder we have is the puff adder. So, horned adders are quite interesting. Uh, they usually average between 25 to 45 centimeters and grow to a maximum length of about 60 centimeters, while juveniles usually um, are about 15 centimeters in length. Now these are what we once again refer to as an ambush hunter and typically what you'll find with horned adders is that they will bury themselves in the sand, usually underneath a little bush. Uh, typically only the head will stick out and they would wait for either a little lizard um, or a mouse to pass by. Now they also have a, a very interesting method of hunting. You'd often notice with horned adders that they have a dark tail tip, although this is not prominent in all of um, all of the horned adders. And they use this little black tail tip to lure prey towards them. Now, if it comes to the identification of horned adders, it can be quite difficult. Now, usually what you'll notice with these snakes is that they're quite variable in color. And these animals can range from gray to brown to reddish um, in color. And then you'll notice that they have these rectangles uh, all along the spine. And these can also be variable in color, ranging from either red, uh, sometimes shades of blue, sometimes yellow. Um, and then along the sides of the body, you'll notice that they have these little circles. And this can once again also range from blue to red. Um, so obviously also depending on where the snake uh, is found. And then another interesting fact about these snakes is that they have these little horns above each eye. Now, one thing worth remembering about horned adders is that not all individuals will have horns. Some individuals uh, will be hornless, um, and that's usually within the central reaches of Namibia. Another key characteristic of identifying this particular snake is that they have these triangular shaped heads. They're quite robust, as you can see, it's a nice thick little snake. And much like the puff adder and any other adder, when disturbed or harassed, these snakes would usually hiss fairly loudly. Now, horned adders, unfortunately, are targeted in Namibia by poachers. A lot of people tend to poach these little snakes um, because of uh, their incredible colors. And I mean because they don't obviously don't grow very big. So they're quite popular in the pet trade. Um, and yeah, if it comes to the venom of horned adders, these guys are cytotoxic. The venom is similar to that of the puff adder. However, it's less severe. So usually you'll have blistering, you'll have swelling, um, but it's not deadly. These snakes um, don't have a venom that is potent enough to kill you. It's going to ruin your week, um, but that's about as bad as it gets. Um, obviously my one of my favorite snake species. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave this guy in peace and hopefully we'll find some zebra snakes.